Now that we have over 1,700 different skins and over 1,500 different pickaxes in Fortnite, it is finally time to show you guys the 34 most tryhard combos for Season 4. This list is going to include some of the most tryhard combos we have ever seen, as well as some brand new combos that we have never talked about on the channel before. So make sure you guys watch all the way through, and then let me know in the comments down below what your favorite combo is. But let's get straight into it, guys. And we are starting off with a Fortnite Mares inspired combo, and this is the Undying Sorrow, and we are pairing this with the Reaper pickaxe. This is an entire Fortnite Mares combo. I absolutely love the way this looks, and I think it is easily one of the best Fortnite Mares combos that we do have in the game. Even though we are including this skin on the list, I don't think it's going to be as tryhard or as popular as some of the other combos we're going to talk about, but since Fortnite Mares is just around the corner, I feel like it was a good idea and a good time to include this skin. I'm actually a big fan of this. I think it is one of the most detailed skins we have in the game right now, and obviously pairing it with the Reaper pickaxe is just going to make it even better and a full Halloween combo. Let's move forward though guys and next up we have the Surf Witch and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. This is a little bit of an OG combo. I feel like we've talked about this so many times on the channel before but it is definitely a combo in Fortnite that is known as a tryhard combo. We don't really see this being as popular as it used to be but whenever you see someone using the Surf Witch you know they are going to be tryhard at the game. I would love to see some more combos being made with the Surf Witch. I feel like you can use a a lot of different pickaxes with this but most people seem to use the star one just because it does suit it so so perfectly and it is what a bunch of people have been using in the past as well another og combo that i feel like we just need to mention though is the mogul masters and we are pairing this with the driver pickaxe there is a very good reason for pairing this with such a simplistic pickaxe and that is because there are so many unique styles of the mogul masters and since they are eight different skins it's just easier to include a simplistic pickaxe with these obviously Obviously, if it was just one skin with a bunch of different edit styles, then we could use a different pickaxe for each style, but the fact that you have to buy each skin individually means that I'm sure a lot of you guys are only ever going to own one or two different mogul masters and probably not going to buy every single one. This again was an example where Fortnite probably messed up. They really had a good opportunity to include this as one skin with a bunch of different styles, but since this was before most of those edit styles for skins had actually happened in the game, we just didn't see this actually being added. They could have definitely changed this around though. I feel like these skins would benefit a lot from some more edit styles and that is easily something that Fortnite could do in the future as well. We have seen so many pros and streamers using these over the years though, so I feel like for that reason we just had to include these on the list. One skin that we probably don't see too many pros or streamers using though is going to be Medley and we are pairing this with the Ice Breaker. This is easily one of my favorite combos on the list. Medley is sort of one of those underrated skins that a bunch of people have been using but probably not as many pros or streamers have been using over the last few seasons. I absolutely love this skin though. I think it is a really, really cool summer themed skin. And for only 1,200 V-Bucks, the fact that you get four different color styles definitely makes it worth it. It also means that the entire price of this combo is only 1,700 V-Bucks, which is really, really good, especially when you factor in that there are four different styles for this skin. Let's move forward though, guys, to a skin that was introduced around the same time as we got Medley, and this is Core, and we are pairing this with the Ol Chopper. Core was actually a battle Battle Pass skin from Chapter 2. I'm a huge fan of this skin, and I really thought this should have been a tryhard skin from the beginning, but we just never really saw that many people actually using it. I feel like there were so many people still using these superhero skins around the time that this skin was introduced to the game, so it did sort of fly under the radar. If you guys have been playing Fortnite since Chapter 2 though, then I'm sure you already have this in your locker, and it is just one of those skins that deserves to be a lot more popular today. The design is so, so clean. All the different edit styles are so unique as well so I feel like that just makes it even better and pairing it with the old chopper is definitely going to make you guys stand out a lot and makes this a very unique combo. I feel like we've talked about a few underrated skins so far so we may as well include another underrated combo and this is Loveless and we're pairing this with the Love Lawn. It almost seems like these items should have been designed together considering their names are so similar but I really love the way this combo looks and it is also one combo that will never be available again. I'm sure the Love Lawn will get added back to the store in the future and you can actually buy this for only four dollars making it one of the cheapest pickaxes on this list but the loveless skin was part of a fortnite crew bundle which means this probably won't be added back we get a brand new fortnite crew skin every single month 
there is a small chance that these crew skins will return to the game in the future, but none of the Fortnite crew skins have reappeared just yet, so we don't know if Fortnite is ever actually going to do that. This skin did cost around $10, and you got a thousand V-Bucks with this. You also got a battle pass completely for free, and some other items as well, so it was definitely worth it. But as I mentioned, this skin is only going to get more and more rare in the future. One skin that will definitely be added back though is going to be the Snowsuit Black Widow skin, and we are pairing this with Daryl's Knives. Snowsuit Black Widow is one of my favorite Marvel skins of all time. Unfortunately, I missed out on the original Black Widow skin, but you could always use that with this combo as well. For me though, Snowsuit Black Widow would have to be one of the more try-hard Marvel skins that we do have in the game. There are a bunch of Marvel skins that do look really clean, but I feel like a lot of them are better for the more casual players in the game and not necessarily for the try-hard players. Snowsuit Black Widow is definitely the exception to the rule here. It is one of my favorite skins. It just looks so, so clean. And when you pair it with something like Daryl's Knives, it looks like some pickaxes that Black Widow would actually use. And that is what I love about this combo. We also don't see that many people using Daryl's Knives. So if you do want to stand out, then I highly recommend this combo. We are also going to be using these pickaxes with our next skin. And this is Isabel. And we are pairing it with Daryl's Knives. Isabel would have to be one of my favorite skins that never really seemed to get the popularity that it deserved. This is by far one of the best community design skins we have ever seen. It was actually designed by Denny, who has designed a bunch of skins that have been added to Fortnite, and I think Isabel would have to be one of the best. Apart from Isabel, we also have Chrisabel, Blizzabel, and now Breezabel in the game, so you really can use any of those skins with these pickaxes. I still think the original Isabel skin is the best, though. There are a bunch of different styles for this as well. We have two default color styles for this, and then there are also two built-in emotes for each style, which is really, really sick, and just adds to the amazing detail that this skin does have. Let's move on, though, to a more traditional try-hard combo, guys, and next up, we have Kuno with the Scully Scepter. Kuno is, without a doubt, one of the most OG try-hard skins on this list. It was first added back during Chapter 1, and I feel like ever since then, it has been known as a try-hard skin. Obviously, we've seen it become extremely popular and then drop off a lot, which is where I feel like it is right now in Fortnite. We don't see that many people using it, but whenever you come across someone using Kuno, you know they're going to be good at the game. Pairing it with the Scully Scepter just seems to make sense as well now that we have two different edit styles for this. I do love this skin a lot, but I feel like there are some better combos coming up very, very soon. One of those better combos would have to be Moon Knight, and we are pairing this with LeBeau's Bow. This is an entire Marvel-themed combo, and it is one of the only male skins in Fortnite that we do see tryhard players using. If you guys didn't know, a lot of tryhard players seem to use the female skins in the game. We don't really know why, but this is just a trend that's been happening all the way back since Chapter 1, Season 1. I think this is true for most Fortnite players, though. For some reason, the female skins just seem to be the more popular ones, but whenever you see a good male skin, it is always worth including on this list and always worth using as well. It's going to make you guys stand out a lot, and honestly, I think some of the male skins are some of the best in the game. Moon Knight is a perfect example of this. It is also part of the Marvel franchise, and you could also get LeBeau's bow in the Marvel collabs as well, so these items will definitely reappear in the store very, very soon. We need to move on, though, to one of the newest combos in the game, and this is Countess Duraku, and we're pairing this with the Ebon Heart Battle Axe. This is definitely one of the more underrated combos in the game right now. We don't really see too many people using it, just because I feel like a lot of people have already bought their favorite skins, and they don't really want to buy too many more. Countess Duraku is a really underrated skin though. I absolutely love the way this looks. I think it's really, really unique and he's only going to get more popular and try hard in the future. Pairing it with something like Ebonheart's Battle Axe is always really cool. It's going to make you guys stand out a lot and definitely adds to the details of this combo. But if you want it to be as try hard as possible, you might want to swap this out for something like the Star Wand or even the Icebreaker. That takes us to the number 23 position, guys, and we have Ahsoka and we are pairing this with Michonne's Katana. I really don't think Ahsoka will become the most try-hard skin we ever see. It is one of the cleanest looking skins though, and since I'm a massive Star Wars fan, I just think it's so cool that we finally have Ahsoka being added to Fortnite. I do love this though, we do see a bunch of the secret Battle Pass skins becoming try-hard, at least just after they get released. I feel like when they have been in the game for a while, we don't really see that many people using them, but right now I'm a huge fan of this skin, and I do see some pros and streamers using it in the more 
competitive game modes. I think Michonne's Katana is a really good pickaxe for this as well. It's quite simplistic, and when you have a detailed skin like Ahsoka, it just makes sense to use a pretty simplistic pickaxe with this. I feel like we need to move on to a skin that has just been a little bit more tryhard though, and this is Marigold, and we are pairing it with Leon's Combat Knife. Marigold is definitely a lot more of a traditional tryhard skin. We really only see people using this in the competitive game modes today. I feel like I don't really see that many casual players using it, and it has also started to become a lot more rare as well. It is a really clean skin. You could get it for around $10 back during Chapter 2 Season 5. It is reappearing in the store every few months now, so it isn't as rare as it should be. But if you guys haven't bought this skin yet, then you can get it in the future. Leon's Combat Knife is also a really good match for this because this skin is reactive. It does change color in game, so you want to use a simplistic pickaxe with this. But let's move on to one of the newer skins in the game, guys, and this is Triarch Aurora, and we are pairing this with the Studded Axe. If you guys like the way this skin looks, then you need to buy it before the season ends because this is a starter pack bundle, which means once season four ends, this is never going to return to the game again. The good thing about it, though, is that you can pick this up for 1,200 V-Bucks. It is actually quite cheap considering how detailed this skin is, and you can also complete some challenges to unlock a second edit style. Because this skin is so detailed and so in-depth, I feel like it's really worth using a simplistic pickaxe for this, and that is where the studded axe is going to be perfect. It is really simplistic, it fits in with pretty much every single skin in the game, and that includes Triarch Aurora. This has been one of my favorite combos over the last few weeks though, but I don't think it is ever going to be as good as Aura and the Driver Pickaxe. This is just one of the most OG combos in the game. It is by far one of the best looking combos as well. And it has to be one of the sweatiest combos we are ever going to see in Fortnite. This skin was first introduced back during Chapter 1 Season 8. And the pickaxe was introduced even earlier in Chapter 1 Season 5. So these items have been in Fortnite pretty much since the beginning. And have been tryhard ever since. We also have a bunch of different edit styles for Aura now in the game. Which I absolutely love. I think that's so so sick and it just shows you guys that fortnite really appreciates how well this skin was designed that they continue upgrading it and making it even better i would love to see some additional styles for the driver pickaxe but honestly i don't even know what they would do with these the entire price of this combo though is only 1300 v bucks so it is one of the cheapest ones on this list but i feel like we should talk about a combo that is a little bit more underrated and this is the cozy chomps and we are pairing this with the studded axe the original style of this never really got the popularity that it deserved. Fortnite finally added in a second edit style of this though, and I am a huge fan. It is a little bit more detailed, it looks a little bit more unique, and he's going to make you guys stand out a lot more, which is really, really cool. And we are pairing this with something like the studded axe, just because it's going to fit in with both edit styles. It's always really good to use a simplistic pickaxe when you have a skin that has a bunch of different edit styles, because you don't want it to use with one edit style and not the other. So this way, it allows you guys to choose which edit style of the Cozy Chomp you actually prefer. I wouldn't want you guys to be stuck using only one style of this skin, so that's why I feel like the studded axe is really good, because you can basically choose your favorite style out of the two. I feel like another really good example of this is our next combo, and this is Manic with the Ol Chopper. Manic is an 800 V-Bucks skin, and there are so many different styles for this skin now in Fortnite. We obviously have the default style, Fortnite then added in some red edit styles, and then even a green and black edit style a few seasons later. The old chopper is one of the cleanest looking pickaxes. It is only 500 V-Bucks as well, so it is one of the cheapest ones in the game, but it's pretty much going to work with every single style of this skin. The only style that I think this probably doesn't work that well with is going to be the green and black edit style, but even then, I still think it works quite well. I've been a huge fan of this skin since it was first introduced. I absolutely love using it, and it is definitely going to be one of the most try-hard combos in the game for Season 4, and as we move into Chapter 5. It's also going to be a lot cheaper than our next combo, and this is Wildcat, and we are pairing this with the Cold Snap. Wildcat is by far one of the most expensive skins in the history of the game, coming in at over $400. Yes, guys, this costs $400 just to get this skin. I love the way this looks. I think it is such an amazing skin, but I wish this was an item shop skin instead of a extremely exclusive crossover skin. I would see a lot more people using it, but it probably wouldn't be as tryhard as it is if it was just a regular item shop skin. 
but you're using the cold snap with this and this is really only designed for the blueprint edit style. I feel like it's going to fit in with the color theme of that skin a lot better, but even if you don't like the blueprint edit style, you could probably use this with every other style for this skin. It's going to look so, so good and pretty much because you had to spend $400 in order to get this skin, regardless of what pickaxe you use with this, it is definitely going to be a tryhard combo. That takes us though to the number 16 position guys and we have Rue and we are pairing this with the Vision pickaxe. Now this is a little bit of a controversial combo because we don't really see Rue being used by too many people and honestly I feel like that is for a good reason. A lot of people actually got offended by this skin so they just haven't added it back to the item shop since chapter 2 season 2 which was when it was first introduced. Regardless of what you think about this skin though it is one of the more tryhard ones in the game just because of how rare this actually is. I feel like if Fortnite for whatever reason did feature this back in the store once again then it might not be as tryhard as it is right now so if you do own it it is probably worth using just because it is one of the rarest skins in the game. The vision is also going to work with both edit styles. We have a red edit style which I think people find really really sweaty and then a black edit style which is probably the one that people find a little bit offensive. I think the red edit style of this skin is really good though and definitely the one that you want to use especially in the more competitive game modes. But that takes us to the number 15 position guys and we have the psycho bandit and we are pairing this with Yennefer's megascope. This is an entire gaming legends combo. Personally I think the psycho bandit is one of the best male skins we are ever going to see in the game and this was introduced back during chapter 1 season 10. Personally I would love for this skin to feature in the store again. I absolutely love this and unfortunately I missed out on buying it and I've just never had an opportunity since then. It is starting to become one of the rarest skins in the game now but Yennefer's megascope has been featuring the store a lot more often and it was last available only a few weeks ago. I really do like the way this skin looks. I think it is so so clean and Yennefer's megascope is also a little bit of a point of difference. Even though we see a bunch of pros and sweats using this skin there probably won't be too many people using this with Yennefer's megascope which means you guys are going to stand out a lot if you are using this combo. You probably won't stand out as much if you are using something like spark plug with the cold snap dough and that is because this is Clix's combo. If you guys didn't know Clix finally got a locker bundle added to the game and the items that were included were spark plug and the cold snap. I love both of these items though. I think spark plug is one of the more underrated tryhard skins that we do see in the game today. It has just been in the game for so long now that people really started to use other skins and that is why this dropped off so so much. But since Clix did get his locker bundle I feel like a lot of people are starting to use this again to the point where it is one of the more tryhard skins that we do see. The cold snap is one of my favorite pickaxes at the moment. I never really used it before Clix's locker bundle featured in the game but now that it has been reappearing in the store a lot more often I'm seeing a bunch more players using it and I think it is one of the cooler pickaxes that we do have. That takes us through to the number 13 position guys. We have a brand new skin and this is Journey of the Scarlet and we are pairing this with the old chopper. Journey of the Scarlet was just added to the end with the latest bundle in Fortnite. I actually really like the way this looks. There were a bunch of skins added with this as well but Journey of the Scarlet would have to be the best. There are some really amazing edit styles for this as well but there is really just two main ones and that is a red style and then a black edit style. You can always take the hat off and the mask on or off but these aren't really massive cosmetic changes so I don't really include them as brand new edit styles but I think the red and the black color styles are going to be the biggest ones. The old chopper is going to match both of these styles really really well. I also think it is an underrated pickaxe for this combo which just makes it even better and it will definitely mean that you have one of the best looking combos on your friends list. But let's move on guys to the number 12 position and we have Antonia and we are pairing this with Leon's Combat Knife. We have already mentioned a few Battle Pass skins on this list so far but Antonia would have to be one of the best. It is the last skin that you unlock this season at tier 100 and I think this is a really clean tier 100 skin. At the start of the season I initially thought Nolan Chance was going to be the best skin from this Battle Pass but it definitely seems like Antonia is now the best skin. So many people have been absolutely loving this and there are a bunch of different styles that you can get for this as well. That is the exact reason why I think Leon's Combat Knife is going to be the best pickaxe for 
before this, there were just so many different styles. And instead of telling you guys which one to use, you guys should be able to pick whichever style you like the best and use this pickaxe with it. We may as well talk about another skin that was just added to the game. And this is Shimmer Dusk. And we are pairing this with Leon's Combat Knife. Shimmer Dusk is the latest Fortnite crew skin. And this is part of the October crew bundle. For around $10, you get a thousand V-Bucks for free. You get a battle pass completely for free as well. So if you already have this battle pass, then you'll get the next one for free. You also get the skin, a pickaxe, and a few other items. So I think it is definitely worth it. Shimmer Dusk also seems to have a bunch of different styles. I think that is really, really clean. I always love it when Fortnite adds in a skin with a bunch of different styles. But obviously, since this is a Fortnite crew skin, it seems like this is really only going to be popular for the next few weeks. As you guys know, when Fortnite crew bundles get introduced to the game, they are popular as soon as they get added because this is a new skin that a bunch of people have never used before. But as the month goes on, less and less people are still using this up to the point where the next Fortnite crew bundle gets introduced and pretty much everyone stops using it. So it's going to be interesting to see if this can stay popular over the next few months, but honestly, it doesn't look likely. But we finally made it to the top 10 guys and starting us off is Piper Pace and we are pairing this with the Icebreaker. I know we just mentioned Antonia, but honestly, I think Piper Pace is the best Battle Pass skin from this season. It is just so well designed. It is so, so clean. And regardless of if you are a tryhard player or not, this is going to fit your playstyle perfectly. We have seen a bunch of casual players using this and a bunch of tryhard players as well, which I think is the best way for Fortnite to design skins. There are so many different edit styles for this as well, and pairing it with the Icebreaker just makes so much sense. That also means that the total price of this combo is only 1,450 V-Bucks, which is really, really good considering how well designed both of these items are. I feel like we haven't really talked about too many male skins though, so let's move on to the number nine position and we have Travis Scott and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. This has been one of the best male combos in the history of Fortnite and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Travis Scott was first added to the game back during chapter two, season two. We have two different edit styles for this skin. We have the default skin, which everyone seems to absolutely love, and then a Terminator edit style as well, which isn't as popular, but still very, very clean. I feel like the Terminator edit style is probably more for the casual players of Fortnite, but I definitely think this skin is still worth buying, but chances are it won't return to the game. Luckily though, the Harley Hitter does seem to return every few months, so if you guys don't already have this pickaxe, you will be able to pick it up very, very soon. But moving on to the number eight position, guys, we have a little bit of an OG combo, and this is Focus with the Star Wand. Focus has actually made a little bit of a resurgence over the last few months. I absolutely love this skin, and we finally got a new edit style for this added only a few weeks ago. Obviously, the default style has been in the game pretty much since the very beginning, back during Chapter 1, Season 8. So it did take Fortnite a really long time to add in a second edit style, but at least it shows they still pay attention to some of the OG skins that everyone seems to love. A bunch of pros and streamers have made this in the past, so I think it is a really good skin and definitely something you guys need to pick up today. The Star Wand is just going to match it absolutely perfectly. It is obviously going to fit in with both edit styles and seems to be the go-to pickaxe for this skin. Let's move on though to a little bit more of an underrated combo and this is Chani and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. Chani is just a personal favorite skin. I think we had to include this on the list because it should become a lot more tryhard than it is right now and hopefully that happens in the future. I really do think this is one of the cleanest skins in the game. We do only have one edit style for this, but with a second June movie coming out at the start of next year, I feel like we might see another style for this skin added. I think it is so, so sick. The Harley Hitter is going to match it really well as well. And we have seen some pros and streamers using it in the past, but it is still going to be one of the rarest skins that we see people using in the more competitive game modes. We need to move on though, guys, to another really underrated skin. And this is Sid, and we are pairing this with the Scully Scepter. Sid has actually been in Fortnite for quite a while, but it was always one of the worst skins in the game up until a few weeks ago. Fortnite has actually added in some new edit styles for this skin, and I think that has made it a lot better. It just looks so, so good. We have a red panda edit style, which personally has been my favorite. I just think it is one of the cleanest styles for this skin. It is really, really unique and unlike anything we have ever seen before. But if you do want to use any of the other styles, then you can also do that. I chose the Scully Scepter exactly for this reason. It's not only going to fit in perfectly with the red panda edit style, but also every other edit style of this skin as well. And that is what I love about 
about it. Let's move forward, guys, to the number five position, and we have Echo and the Love Lawn Pickaxe. I actually didn't expect Echo to feature on this list, but looking at some of these skins that a bunch of people have been using, this has actually become one of the most popular tryhard skins in the game. It does set you back 1,200 V-Bucks, which is actually quite reasonably priced. I really like the way this looks, but it is still a very, very popular skin, especially in the more competitive game modes. If you guys haven't used this before, I definitely recommend picking it up. It is just so, so good. And hopefully we do see some more styles for this being added as well. What I think is really good about this is that there are four different edit styles for this skin already in the game, and they all look so different to every other style. That is what really Fortnite needs to focus on. Instead of adding skins to the game that look very, very similar, if we get a bunch of different edit styles that all look very, very different, it's just gonna make each of those skins even better. The Love Lawn is going to be the perfect choice for this because it's gonna allow you guys to use any of the edit styles of this skin that you want. And it only sets you back $4. Let's move forward, guys, to the number four position, and we have Siren, and we're pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. Siren is by far one of the most tryhard skins we have ever seen, and the Leviathan Axe is one of the most tryhard combos, so it just makes sense that we include these together. I don't think this will ever be a combo in Fortnite that isn't seen as tryhard. It is just so well designed. It is so, so good. And both of these items are so, so good together. It has been a tryhard combo since this skin was introduced back during Chapter 2, Season 2, and I feel like it has really only gotten better from that day. We have seen a bunch of pros and streamers maining it since then. The biggest one was obviously Benji Fishy, but he has now quit Fortnite, so if you guys do want to main this, now is going to be the perfect time. Unfortunately, though, the Leviathan Axe probably won't be added back to the store anytime soon because it is only featured in the game once, and that was back during Chapter 2, Season 5. So if you are waiting for this to be added back then you might actually have to wait a while let's move on though to the number three position guys and we have the superhero skins and we are pairing this with the cold snap the superhero skins are some of the best in the game they do set you back 1800 v bucks but you can customize this in so many different ways it's almost like having a thousand different skins i think that is so sick i absolutely love these skins and even though they have started to drop off over the last few weeks and maybe even over the last few seasons i still think think they are definitely worth buying in Fortnite today. The Cold Snap is a really good pickaxe for these. Obviously, there are so many different styles that you can make with these skins. It's always worth using a more simplistic pickaxe, but the Cold Snap is probably a pickaxe that we don't see too many people using with these skins. I feel like most people are going to be using the Leviathan Axe or the Star Wand with the superhero skins, so by using the Cold Snap, it's just going to allow you guys to stand out even more and make this also a very try-hard combo. Let's move on though to the number two position and we have Lara Croft and we are pairing this with Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Lara Croft has been in Fortnite for such a long time now. It was part of the Battle Pass back during Chapter 2 Season 6 and what makes this skin so unique is that this has only gotten more tryhard as the seasons have gone on. This never happens for Battle Pass skins. Usually they drop off very, very quickly once that season ends, but Lara Croft has worked in reverse. We really only see people using the default style of this skin though. I think all of these styles for this skin are really clean, but the default style is the only one that people seem to use. So if you guys do want to stand out, maybe try out some of those other edit styles. Every single style is going to work perfectly with Catwoman's Grappling Claw though, and that is why this is one of my favorite combos in the game. But unfortunately, it isn't the best combo in Fortnite right now, and that is because the best combo would have to be Caper and the Ol Chopper. Yes, guys, Caper is by far the best skin we have in Fortnite. There are so many amazing skins now in the game, but Caper would have to be by far the best and most tryhard. There have been so many people using customizable skins in Fortnite, but I feel like Caper would have to be one of the best. There are just so many different unique styles that you can make with this skin. We just haven't really seen too many skins like this before in Fortnite, and that is what is so good about it. So many people have been using these superhero skins as well, so I feel like it's good just to have have a different skin that is starting to become even more popular and that is exactly what we are seeing with caper right now it is by far the most tryhard skin in the game and i think this is such an amazing skin and hopefully it stays popular for the next few seasons but there you guys go that is my list for the 34 most tryhard combos in the game right now hopefully you guys agree with this list and if you do make sure to let me know which one was your favorite combo in the comments down below but make sure to click the video on your screen now